Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another Ghost of Tsushima video. I hope you are all doing incredibly well, staying safe and staying healthy. Now listen, per popular request of a good handful of people, I will be breaking down in today's video, chapter one of the Tale of EO raid. Just a little disclaimer for some of you out there that like to do like speed runs and stuff like that and are maybe looking for that kind of information. This is not going to be that kind of video, guys. This video is mainly going to be targeting the newer players and or maybe OG players like myself who haven't really played the raid a lot just because, you know, finding people to play with is a little difficult. You played it that first time and you kind of got a sour taste in your mouth because it took so long. So i will be breaking down the raid guys and it's going to be step by step and also it's going to be broken down on the bottom on the timeline so if you guys are looking for specific information um you can just go ahead and click forward and click ahead and it'll also all be in the description also if you guys aren't already part of the discord please feel free to join the link will be down below uh there's a certain section and a certain role in my discord for ghost of tsushima so if you are looking for a group or if you just generally want to talk about it or if you want a place where you can share your screenshots that you got and you want to post your links and you want to post your videos um there's definitely a place on there in the ghost of tsushima section as well um, feel free to join you guys are all invited and before we get started guys i want to give a big shout out to my boys that actually helped me do this it really made a big difference in how i get the information for you guys because they are very knowledgeable and basically everything that i'm going to be telling you guys is from them so thanks to my man filmic thanks to my boy beethoven and our buddy uriel from the discord guys you guys are awesome i appreciate y'all so much so without further ado let's get right into it guys if you guys like this kind of video or if you like this video at all please be sure to leave a like down below and if you're not already subscribed to the channel guys what are you waiting for so much more content coming to you guys and if you don't want to subscribe it's all good love y'all anyway hope you guys take care hope you enjoy we'll catch you on the next one peace hi guys and welcome to the tale of eo chapter one complete walkthrough so this video is more aimed towards newer players or players that have done it before but haven't done it in a while so sit back relax you can definitely have this video on while you and your team are doing a run through this chapter and kind of like walk through this will be step by step in chronological order So I will have this broken down into sections, guys. So for section one here, we do have the crystals and we will go into that after we get to it. Um, the, the main thing that I want to point out, guys, is that we are timed. So the faster you do this, um, the better. Once you see this little mark on the screen right here that says EO has started hunting for you, that's when you know the timer starts. So you will be on a timer and you must get this done in a certain time frame. This right here, guys, as you can see, is the first Oni treasure chest. There are a total of five treasure chests that you will see in this chapter. And this is where the first one is at. Typically, they will have um, these. I, I mean, typically, you'll see a bunch of big purple Oni guys, but they will have uh, some tethered Oni guys in here that you and your team will have to fight through. So just be sure with the tethered guys, if you haven't encountered them before, which I'm sure most of you have. Um, that you do kill them at you know within about five seconds of each other so <laughs> you want to get those guys down there should be an archer and yeah um, so as for the crystals guys they are all three in the same spot so basically what you have to do is you have to get the crystals and bring them up to a platform that first crystal is right here and basically what you have to do in order to get the crystal out you have to kill enemies right next to the little egg and once you kill enemies next to the egg they will explode and they will put damage on the egg revealing the crystal and allowing one of your teammates or yourself to pick it up and walk it up to the platform now there are three crystals and they are all always in the same spot that was crystal number one once your teammate picks up the crystal guys as you see that we're doing here you want to protect them because if they do take any kind of damage they will drop the crystal and it will kind of you know slow down your guys's time and as i said we are in a timed run so if you are not able to get the crystals in time eo will find you and you will have to start over so protect that individual at all costs um, it's really good to have an assassin for vanish 
have your Ronin always with the guy with the crystal in order to spam bombs and just protect them as best as you can. This right here is where the second crystal is located. My teammate had already picked it up, but it will always be in the same location. So after we protect our teammate and they place the crystal, this is the third and final crystal that you will find. And it will be the closest to the platform that you need to place the crystal on. Once you place all three crystals, guys, this area will be basically over and you will kill all the enemies off and the next area will reveal itself. So it's as simple as that, guys. The first section done and all you guys got to do is work as a team and you should be good to go. Now, section number two, guys, is the famous soul well if you guys have played this before or if you guys have heard about this then you know that um it could be a little bit of a pain if you're not exactly sure what to do so there's some simple plat platforming here guys uh one person stands up on the button the other people cross and then you come and stand on this other button so before you do get into the village and begin the soul well mission um this right here guys is the oni treasure number two so you make a little u-turn head back and you come to this little broken up area and it does make for an interesting fight when you're in here um be sure you know be careful not to fall uh because i mean it will it will just pick you up and respawn you back up top but it just you know that takes away damage that you could be putting towards the enemy so try your best not to fall and um kill these guys off as soon as you can all right guys once you guys finish off this treasure you will be introduced to a new enemy and that is called the eye of eo if this eye catches you you will be frozen in place and if your teammates do not break you free you will be killed and down now holding r1 and tapping triangle or square um, depending on how you have your class set up will actually stop the eye from locking you in place so as long as you catch it before it starts to grasp you then you should be good to go and you should be able to stop it um, from locking you down in place by using that simple little i guess it's like a glitch i'm not sure why they they added that in there but you know uh it is what it is so also another another time that the eye doesn't get you is when you're on like a tightrope or something like that so those are the two instances that you can actually stop it from locking you down so after you kill all these area all these enemies in the area you will actually have to regroup with your team on the soul well in order to activate this mission and this mission can be a little bit difficult if you don't understand basically what you need to do so you will always have one individual that needs to be standing on the soul well along with defending it as you can see here we have our ronin which is he's an incredible ronin first of all so having him up there bombing and keeping the enemies away is like the best thing that you can have his aoe damage is insane so having all those enemies come at him while he's defending just works out perfectly so like i said you must have an individual up there and you and your team can spread out and start collecting these souls so once you kill the disciples of eo that you will see that will be spawning um they're very easy to kill they're one hit so you kill them and you collect souls from the ground from which they drop so every soul is worth 10 you can carry a maximum of 20 so killing two of them picking up their souls and heading back is kind of what you need to do every second however your soul potency will start going down and once you get to the soul as you can see here it starts draining and going into the door once you fill that door up guys that's when the next area will reveal itself so as you go through and you kill all these these disciples of eo there's little shortcuts like this one right here how you can see my assassin using the button in order to help me out with the platform um, the assassins can also use shortcuts with their ultimate if there are enemies that are left up here that they can alt towards um, that's a nice little shortcut that they can use which is really cool and really helpful and makes it a lot quicker so as we finish this area as you can see it's pretty straightforward the next area 
does reveal itself. And this area is all about platforming and attunements, everybody's favorite. But of course, before you get started on this area, there is an Oni treasure chest. So this is the location of the third Oni treasure chest. And just as the other treasure chests had the same kind of enemies, this one will as well. As you can see, it switches up which ones are tethered. So this one has a big Oni and a archer that are tethered together. So that can be actually really annoying if you guys aren't all on the same page when you're fighting these guys off. All right, once you finish those guys off, you'll go into a little platforming area. You're gonna need one person on the right, one person on the left, and the remaining two individuals will platform and jump right across to the other side. Now the eye of EO will be going back and forth. So as long as you're using the glitch that we showed you, the R1 and triangle or square, then you should be good. Once you guys are across, you guys are gonna split up and each go onto a button and as you can see, the assassins is down at the bottom right and one is right here. This will allow your team to platform across and get to this other little island that has a separate button. Once they get there, they will push the button for you, whoever's in this spot. And then this is kind of the little cliff you need to climb on in order to get to the next button so your team can platform across. Now, once you get here, you will be able to, well, you will have to kill one of the guys that are here and a cool little shortcut if you're an assassin is uh, once you first enter right here, as you saw, one went left, one went right. If you go to the left side and have your ultimate and jump across and target this enemy that I just killed, you can actually use your ult and make a shortcut and get all the way over here. So really cool for a little speed thing. And as you can see right there, if you're on the tightrope, you don't get affected. So I thought that was a really cool thing to show right there. And the next platform, as you can see right here, the assassin goes across and activates it in order for us to be able to jump across. So you only needed one person to stand on this little button in order for the guy on the bottom to go across. And once he does, you can join your team over here and an individual right here will stand in order to let that teammate come back towards you guys. I know this is a lot of words and uh, I'm hoping the visuals help more than anything just because I know platforming can get a little confusing. So if anything, follow the visuals that you see on the screen. There will be another button here and another one where our assassin is going to allow everyone to come across. Yeah, yeah. Alright guys, once we get here, you'll get a little bit more platforming and so... A little trick here for the assassin if he does have his ultimate he actually can alt to the very top where the blue attunement is that you'll see coming up soon and kind of shortcut his way up there which is a really cool little thing as you can see the assassins are pretty versatile when it comes to the raid so i think that's a very important one to have just in general so you'll gather attunements and you'll proceed with some uh, pretty basic platforming. You know, you just get the attunements and you're jumping onto the respective platforms and you're just gonna go ahead and make your way to the top. Just remember guys, if you guys do have the attunements, make sure that you jump onto your platform and wait for your entire team to proceed in order for you to keep going. So this is where the assassin would skip to. He would aim for this guy that we just marked right there. So up here guys, is, there's a couple things that you have to know. So when you do grab the blue and final attunement, you wanna be sure to leave one teammate on top because it will respawn later when you break the totem. Also, this crystal right here is used for the next Oni treasure that you need. So be sure to have somebody who doesn't have the blue attunement, grab the crystal, 
drop down and we'll show you where to place the crystal. Now you can proceed to destroy the attunements. And after you destroy this blue one, as you can see up top, the guy who was left can now grab the blue one and proceed to the bottom to destroy the very next totem. This little alleyway is where you're going to bring the crystal and place it right there on that platform. That platform is going to reveal Oni treasure number four and allow you guys to platform across and got this cool little arena right here in order to open up the treasure chest and take out the Oni. All right, guys, once you get past that Oni treasure, you can destroy the final totem and proceed to section four, the Ascension Trials. So when you're crossing this bridge, you can avoid all these ghosts. Um, you can use Vanish with your Assassin or just run through them. Also try to avoid the Eye of Eo. If not, then you can use the little trick that we showed you guys earlier. So when you get to this section, guys, it's important that you plan accordingly before you even go into this chapter with this section because of these different things. So each totem has a challenge and each challenge can only be completed one time by one person. Once you get the challenge and you fail, if you go down, once you fail, unfortunately, you have to retry the challenge. Now, each totem has a specific thing. So the bottom right, right when you first walk in, has no class abilities. The top right has no melees. And the top left has no dodge or rolling. And the bottom left, when you first walk in, has no ghost weapons or ranged weapons. So as some suggestions when you are doing this for class classes to use with this one um, for the bottom right i would definitely suggest a samurai or maybe even an assassin with a smoke bomb um, also for the top right i would suggest a ronin or a hunter because it is no melee for the top left i would suggest an assassin maybe a ronin depending and for the bottom left um, i would definitely suggest an assassin or a samurai so like i said guys you definitely want to plan accordingly when you guys are going to this section it helps to have a ronin to always keep resolve up in order to revive anybody that goes down or you know help weaken the enemies around you while you're trying to complete the specific thing so once you complete the ascension guys you guys can go up to this section where the bell is and over here off to the left side is the final oni treasure before you exit so um, a nice little shortcut that you can do is you can leave somebody where the tori gate spawns in order to just walk through it after your team kills off the final oni treasure and um then they can just walk through um and just end it otherwise you guys can all come over here uh fight these guys and you know proceed to the end afterwards all right guys you have made it this far which means you have completed the tale of eo chapter one congratulations guys and thank you for going through this walkthrough with me that is everything i have for you guys for chapter one i hope it was incredibly useful to you and your team and i hope you guys took a lot from this um if you guys like this video please be sure to leave a like um i definitely spent some time on this with my buddies and we had a good time making this for you so um if you did leave a like please and that would actually mean a lot also if you're not already subscribed um uh, subscribe to the channel we got so much more content coming guys i will be covering chapter two and three as well in the near future so stick around for that much love to you guys let me know if i missed anything in the comments below and I will definitely address it and or add anything that you might be looking for. If you guys have any questions about anything, also let me know. Much love to you guys. I will catch you guys on the next one. I appreciate everything. And we'll see you later. Peace.